Hey everybody, welcome and welcome back to my channel. My name is Muffet and today I got a little idea. So I'm actually going to a wedding this week and I thought it would be really nice for me to just um, let you guys know what I feel are the top 10 wedding fragrances. The wedding is outside and the fragrances that I'm gonna mention today are fragrances that will fare really, really well in this time of year, closer to the, you know, the end of summer. So when I think about um, fragrances for weddings, I'm thinking fragrances that have some aldehydes in there, maybe a little bit of florals, but not too potent. Um, smooth fruits like peach. We have the orris fruit that's also in uh, in these perfumes. That's what I think of for wedding perfumes. Um, something that is very crowd pleasing and um, inoffensive. So if you're interested to hear the perfumes that I have to mention, please stay tuned. Also, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. All right. Up first is a perfume that I haven't really mentioned before, um, but um, as you can see, I did put some type of um, dent in there. So this is Ombre Rose or Ombre Rose, and this is by John Charles Brosseau. So this is, this this has your aldehydes in it. This has orris fruit, this has peach, heliotrope, lily of the valley, all the, all the, uh, uh, notes that make a, a fragrance, all the common notes that make a fragrance really, really feminine and girly, but it's not too, it is a powdery fragrance, but it's not too powdery. I find it interesting that they call it Ombre Rose. Rose is in here, but it's still not the main, it's, it, I feel like it's not the main, I guess, objective of this fragrance. That's not what I get when I spray this fragrance. I just get a smooth, creamy, I get a smooth, creamy, almost lactonic, powdery fragrance. And this is this is very refreshing. It's not baby powder-like, but it still is very feminine and powdery. And I feel like this is actually, this is universal as far as for um, when a woman would wear this. If she's in her 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s, it doesn't matter. I feel like the, the type of powder that's in here is very, very classic. Yeah, this is absolutely beautiful. And I've worn this a couple times, as you can see, and I definitely have had comments, on, um, compliments on this one. And it, this lasts you a very, 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 very long time. So yeah, um, yeah, check this one out, y'all. It's, it's inexpensive. I think I got this from, golly. Was it Joma Shop or was it Fragrance Net? I don't remember, but I mean, it's well worth the coin. There's something about it that's so relaxing and calming and just makes you wanna just, it's almost like you're in a powdery cloud. This is not overly powdery though. There are aldehydes, but it's not to the point to where it's, it's heady or sickening. You know, it's really, really good. Try this out, you guys. Okay, next guys is Pink Me Up by Atelier Des Ors. So I sampled this in a previous video and I had to have it. Check how pretty this bottle is. Look at those little flakes in there. Y'all, as you can see, I've been wearing this bad boy. Oh, sorry. As you can see, I've been wearing this bad boy out. I literally haven't even had this for a month, you guys. It's so beautiful. This is your blackberry champagne fragrance. There's some iris in here. Oh man, the type of blackberry that's in here, it's almost like, okay, so it's fermented a little bit. To me, it is. And um, this is what I would have wanted Dom Rosa to be, you know? Um, yeah, that, was, that perfume was a disappointment. This opens up with bergamot and orange blossom. And in the base, you have that sweet sugared patchouli that I absolutely love in a fragrance. This is so pretty. And it lasts on your clothes for days and days and days and days. Even in the hamper, I can still smell this. Like this is just, this is such a beautiful fragrance. It's worth the coin to me, you know? I think this is a beautiful fragrance. It's sweet, it's it's um, sexy, it's long lasting, It's it's projecting super girly, super feminine, and it's not childish at all. Even though it's pinking up, it does make a woman feel pink, of course, but uh, a sexy pink, you know what I'm saying? A grown pink. Up next, guys, is the Chronic Rouge Extreme by 
Byron perfumes, y'all. Mm. See, I would have went with the Mula Mula, but I was like, nah, this is a wedding. You need something that's sweet, but also sexy at the same time. And the spicy notes in this perfume does it for moi, <laughs> okay? This has melon, this has raspberry whipped cream. This has pear. There's some sandalwood and musk and some patchouli in the base. But the whipped cream in here is, is strong and I love that. It's not just a, you know, there's a tint of whipped cream in here. You smell a little creaminess. No, you smell the smooth, sweet creaminess throughout the entire life of this perfume, along with the spicy notes, the sweetness from the melon and the pear. The raspberry I really get is, is closer to the beginning of the opening of this fragrance. But y'all, this is a sexy fragrance. This is a compliment getter. And I will never be without this. This is a definite repurchase for me. It's, it's um yeah, this is perfection. This is perfect for a wedding. And you don't even have to worry about touching this up at all. This is gonna last you a long time. Whether if the wedding is inside or outdoors, doesn't matter. This will last you all day. I might just wear this. This might be my, um. how about this? At the end of my list, at the end of my descriptions, I'm gonna tell you which one I'm gonna wear, okay? Guys, up next is Bon Bon Pop by The House of Oud. Yes, so you guys, I, I sampled this fragrance and it was an immediate yes. Like I knew this was gonna be a definite purchase for me, guys. Check out this pretty, pretty bottle. You see that like grayish blue butterfly that's right here? You see these pretty hand painted flowers? The same butterflies on the other side. Yeah, this is a beautiful bottle, you guys. And yeah, I didn't realize it had a butterfly on it until I actually purchased it. I was like, look up close just to see how gorgeous this fragrance is. This opens up with peach, coconut, and bergamot. And then you have some jasmine in the middle. You have some woody notes in the base and also that sugared patchouli. There's some brown sugar and amber in the base. This is so gorgeous this is going to be on a wedding day where it's in the low 80s there's a breeze and the sillage would just like float throughout the crowd everyone will smell this beautiful peach coconut musky fragrance this is beautiful it is definitely worth the hype okay i i was just so impressed when i when i when i smelled this fragrance for the first time it was a definite purchase for me had to and I spray this on my wrist and I don't know if you can see like the um the oil. Can you see the oil? I know I'm all up in the camera, y'all. <laughs> but hey, this thing sticks to your skin. It lasts a long time and that's what you want, okay? <laughs> This is House of Oud Bom Bom Pop. Up next is a new favorite of all of ours, and this is K. Ali's Sook Santal 36 from The Wedding Collection. Let me see if you can see it. This is Silk Santal 36 from The Wedding Collection of K. Ali. Y'all, I've been savoring this, and it's like I'm still slowly uh, nursing my little, um, my 10 mil that I have because I don't know when the next time they're gonna have this available. So this is this is for special occasions. Now, it is a wedding, but even that, I don't know, man. This is my juice, you know what I'm saying? But this is your beautiful peach coated in praline with some vanilla, some sugar, and some sandalwood in the base. This is a beautiful, to me, overall, vanilla, it is a vanilla fragrance, but it's done so creamy and sweet with that peach. And it's not a, a juicy peach. It's a very calm, smooth, almost lectonic type of peach because of the sandalwood. This is a gorgeous fragrance, you guys. This projects and lasts forever. I would be too selfish to wear this to a wedding. Maybe this shouldn't be in my top 10. Not everybody's gonna get to experience this juice on me. You know what I'm saying? It has to be deserved. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> For real, this is limited edition. Can't just be wearing this all willy nilly. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. 
Up next, guys, is Pure Poison by Christian Dior. So this is a favorite of mine. And um, I only have the little bottle. I showed this in my dense video. But yeah, I started wearing it again. And this is, per this is perfect for a wedding. It's strong, long lasting, strong projecting. This is your white floral citrusy um, type of fragrance with some musk in the base. And y'all, it is ultimate femininity in a bottle. It's, it, and the, the citruses that are in here, you have your bergamot, you have mandarin, and you also have, I think, nectarine. But the, the, the citruses that are in here are so juicy. It's, it's, it's musky, but it's also juicy at the same time, you know? Sometimes you'll have your musky fragrances that are more on the cooler side. You won't get as much sweetness with it. You'll just get musk and maybe, I don't know, sandalwood, something cool at, at the base. But this right here, that juiciness in there, it's it's like it, it, it sprites up, like it brightens up this fragrance. It's a joyful fragrance, you guys. This is not your typical musky fragrance. It's so pretty. And this is the only um, one out of the poisons, the different, um, <laughs> the poisons. This is the only uh, flanker that I like. The other ones are, uh, but this is really good. Yeah, check this out, you guys. Next up, guys, is Blanche Bet by Liquid Imagineers. Y'all, this is your gorgeous, long-lasting, lectonic, milky, vanilla, um, ambrette, mystical fragrance. It, like, I, when I wear this, I literally feel like a unicorn because this fragrance is so unique. It's not a common fragrance. It's a compliment magnet. It lasts forever and it projects. Like, I have not met anyone so far that has not liked this fragrance. I've gotten so many compliments on this fragrance and a friend of mine that I did a decant for is in love with this fragrance too. It is so gorgeous, you guys. Um... Yeah, this may be the winner. I may wear this um, to the wedding. Gosh, yes, this is that, this is that it girl at the wedding. This is that it girl. Yeah, this is gorgeous. Up next, guys, is Gold Coast by Bond number nine. I talk about this so much. Y'all tired yet? <laughs> this is so pretty. This is a pretty fragrance, yeah. Gorgeous. Okay, guys, so up next is Gold Immortals by Ex Nihilo. You guys have heard me talk about this before. This has pier, this has bergamot, this has elangy lang, this has peony, some musk, and some amber and tonka in the base. This is your decadent custardy ice cream type of fragrance. The way everything is blended so together, it's smooth and thick. Mm, and it means business. Okay, so the wedding is gonna be in the evening and you've just come back from traveling from work and you have to hurry up and get ready for this wedding, but you know that this is a sure winner, that you are going to smell so divine by making this choice here. You spray it all over, no touch-ups needed, and the compliments just come and come and come. Like, that's what this fragrance feels like to me. It's super feminine it's super um smooth and calming it's it smells delicious and and custardy it's really really beautiful and this will be perfect for a nice evening wedding okay last but not least guys is a combination that i just cannot get enough of so this is your good girl blush so this opens up with a bergamot bitter almond and the middle notes are peony and a lang lang the, the base is vanilla and curamin y'all I mean, it almost smells like there's pure in here, but there isn't. Like the almond and the bergamot together, just they, they just blend so well together, and that's like a cool sweetness. It's not a it does it's not citrusy to me, but it's a cool, juicy peony elangy lang fragrance. It's so pretty, and I love to mix that up with the Chirosa 68, the Brazilian Jasmine and Pink Dragon Fruit Body Spray by, um, by Sol de Janeiro. Y'all, this combination together is amazing. You will smell like a walking sugar tank. You'll smell like a walking sugar tank. I like that analogy, yeah, yeah. 
This is ultra feminine. It's ultra sweet. It's also ultra grown. This does not smell childish at all. This is ultra sweet, ultra grown. It doesn't smell childish at all. It's so beautiful. Yeah. You got your bergamot. You have your curmin. You have your langy lang, your peony. You have pink dragon fruit and jasmine. I'm so happy I found these two and they mesh together so well, so well. Okay, you guys, so now that I've shared my lineup with you, let me try and pick and see what I'm gonna wear tomorrow. Blanche bet tomorrow. Yes, I'm wearing Blanche bet tomorrow. This is the one. <sighs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, guys, thank you so much for tuning in to hear my top 10 fragrances that I think would be amazing for weddings. Let me know what your top 10 is or what fragrance in particular you think would be amazing for weddings. Um, did I make the right choice? I think so, but you know, feel free to comment below. It's your world, you know what I'm saying? Like this video, comment, subscribe to my channel. And yeah, I look forward to communicating with you guys. I love you and I just, I just, I love the community that um, is slowly forming. And yeah, um, I hope you guys are having a great week. And yeah, I look forward to chatting with you in the comments, you guys. So until the next time, you guys, take care, enjoy life, make sure you are taking care of yourself to the best of your ability. Life is short, okay? Take care, bye.